Hello, and welcome to The Point from MSI Services. This week we'll look at getting the most out of Outlook 2010's email signature features. Along with our recent company rebranding came a task that many of you may find on your to-do list in the future. That is, deciding on a standardized company-wide email signature. The task brought us to a deeper understanding of the signature features included within Outlook. In this issue, we'll share three of the most useful things we discovered along the way. One, how to create and edit signatures within Outlook. Two, a way to distribute a custom-made signature to all the members of your company or organization. And three, how you can get to the actual HTML code of your signatures, just in case you want to access further customization. First, we'll take a look at Outlook's built-in signature editor. This is where the majority of your signature editing will take place. Open the signature editor from the main Outlook window by clicking File, Options, Mail, Signatures. Under Select Signatures to Edit is a listing of your saved signatures. The four buttons below the list are for editing the list. Delete, New, Save, and Rename. To create a new company signature, click New. You can then edit the signature using the Word-like tools uh, below the listing of signatures. Once you're satisfied with the signature design, click the Save button to save it in the list. I'll create a quick sample signature so that you can see the steps. I'll click the New and type in Test Signature. Then click OK. Edit the signature with the tools along the top of the menu. Remember to follow the guidelines for email signatures as written up in the point. Arguably the best guideline to follow is to be short, sweet, and concise. I'll just enter a name and a title separated by a colon. Uh, below this I'll just put a phone number and a dummy company name. When you're done editing the signature, click the Save button. The tools in the upper right side of the signature window are for choosing default signature options. If you have multiple email accounts configured in Outlook, you can choose which email address will use this signature from this drop-down. Uh, this option allows you to choose which what signature will be used in new messages, and this allows you to choose which will be used for a reply or a forward. You can see that the test signature uh, has been created here in the list, and I can delete it or edit it or rename it using these buttons here. I'll delete it since I no longer need it. Let's move on from the Outlook Signatures Editor and take a look at how you can now share your newly created signature as a template for the rest of the company. Using this method, you won't have to go around to each machine individually and create the signature manually. Browse to the Signature File Store which is located on your C drive under Users, Your Username, App Data, Roaming, Microsoft, Signatures. You can access that link and instructions on how to browse there from the text of the point. You'll notice that both a file and directory that, excuse me, you'll notice that both a file and a directory start with the name of your custom signature. First, select these two items. I'm going to select our Naviten Signature file and Naviten Signature folder. And I'm going to, the next thing you need to do is right click one of the things. You have to select both of them. And to do that, you hold down the control button and then click the second item. Right click one of them, choose Send to Compressed Zipped Folder, and just hit Enter. You'll see that there's a new folder in here called Naviten Files. This folder contains all the files necessary to run the signature on anybody else's computer. The compressed directory can then be distributed to other members of the company. All they have to do is right click the directory, choose Extract All, and browse to that same directory on their machine, and then choose Extract. The signature will then show up in their signature editors on their copy of Office. Before we conclude this screencast, I wanted to show you where to access the actual HTML code of the signature, just in case you happen to have some HTML skill and want to further customize the signature. Beyond what the Outlook Signature Editor offers, you can change the code in the Navitend or YourSignatureNames.htm file, uh, and that can be edited in any text editor. With that, we reach the conclusion of this week's issue of The Point. My name is Phil, writer and narrator of The Point. If you like what you've seen and want to receive The Point on a regular basis, please see our website, naviten.com. You can find previous issues of The Point on our website. The link is below. 
Thanks for tuning in and have a great week.